Hey everybody, I hate to do this to you, but I had to leave for the day. My son got sick at daycare, so they asked me if I could come pick him up. Uh, hopefully I'll be in tomorrow. So um, we're gonna review converting units. So what we did last week, if you remember, is we made our tic-tac-toe board. In the middle of our tic-tac-toe board, the top, uh, the top middle is gonna be where your rule is. This first space is gonna be your first unit. So looking at our question here, 10 yards equals how many feet? Our first unit is gonna be yards. Our second unit is gonna be feet. So the first row up here, this is always gonna be your units. The second row is gonna be where you're gonna write down the rule. Your third row is gonna be where you write down your problem or your question that you're solving. All right, so how many, we're gonna solve out yards and feet. So if we have one yard, there are three feet in one yard. You can use your reference sheet for this or you can Google the conversion rate. Well, how do you get from one to three? You're gonna multiply, we're getting bigger, so we're gonna multiply. One times what gives you three? Well, one times three gives us three. So our rule is times three. We're looking at yards in your the third row is about your problem or your question. Well, it starts out with 10 yards. So we have 10 yards times three is our rule, gives you how many feet we're looking for. Well, 10 times three is going to be 30. 30 feet. Next problem. All right, we're gonna solve 27 pounds into ounces. 27 pounds into ounces. So draw a tic-tac-toe board. Our first unit goes here, which is gonna be pounds. Our first unit is pounds because that's the first one listed in our question. Second one is gonna be rules. Our second unit is gonna be ounces because it's the second one in our problem. Using your reference sheet or the worksheet that's given. So we have one pound is 16 ounces. One pound, 16 ounces. How do we get from one to 16? We're getting larger, we're gonna multiply. All right, so we have 27 pounds. So 27 pounds. Our rule is times 16. Use your calculator to find out 27 times 16. It's going to be 432 ounces is equal to 27 pounds. Please replay this video twice. I want you to copy down these as we go so then you know how to do it for your two worksheets. I hope I see you tomorrow. Good luck.